Hey, it's Danny from The Heart of Five, and this week is Recommendations Week. My recommendations will be video games, so let's get into it. So first off, we have Yandere Simulator. I fell in love with this game a little while ago. I'm not exactly sure how. I just did. Uh, my friend Libby, uh, over on another part of this channel, showed me a few things, but it never really caught my interest until recently, and boy, I became trash real quick for this game. It's an unfinished game so far, and it's just so much fun. You play as a Yandere girl, who is kind of a sociopath with murderous tendencies. You better not touch her, senpai. This game is really fun because it's very stealth uh, embodied, and it's just so much fun to play. All the characters are really well designed and animated and all that, and oh my god, I can talk about this game forever. I just love how characters have their own backstories, how they have a certain routine, and all the little details that go into this game. It's just what makes it incredible. Next on my list is Undertale. As many people could guess, I am mega trash for Undertale. I said this in my first ever video on this channel. Oh my goodness, I fell in love with this game immediately. Um, all the characters are so well developed, and I love how the game has so many different endings. I just love games with like such detail in them, and how your choices affect the endings, and that characters can remember what you've done, and you can feel your sins crawling on your back. It's given me a new appreciation for puns, and uh, a new respect for gaming. The game is so much fun, and also very challenging, as I've never beaten the genocide run, because I don't want to get dunked on. Uh, anyways, I really want to describe more of the game, but I especially don't want to spoil it. I know I probably have by saying two specific things, but you can't escape the spoilers in this fandom. I love the fandom. They're very nice and creative as well, with all the different alternate universes. Though, I wish Papyrus was a little bit more up there, because he is the great Papyrus after all. I also have a great love for RPG horror games. Uh, I love Misao, or Miseo, however it's pronounced, I will find out one day. I loved it so much. It has gone to levels of just nothing I've seen before in a video game, and I really respect that. It also had very interesting twists and turns throughout its story, and it wasn't just dependent on jump scares, it had scary quality and story. I thought it was amazing. The characters are so much fun, and I really got into it. Next, we have a game that makes me want to write horror. Here is Mad Father. I found this game while looking across more RPG horrors after watching people play The Witch's House, which I think should be on this list later, and Miseo. And wow, I can totally tell how it was recommended. A game that uses corpses without zombies and treats dolls like a whole new thing. Wow, this game had new perspectives on everything. I was so enchanted by it. And it wasn't jump scary to the extreme, and it had the perfect horror aspects to it, and RPG as well. Uh, my only complaint is towards the endings, and not because they're particularly, like, traditional horror endings. I just feel like some don't match the character, if that makes any sense. That eh, probably doesn't. But... It's just my feelings towards it. I love the game so much. I created a ship at one point, like many from what I've seen in the fandom. Uh, it's just hard not to fall in love with games like this because they're so different from traditional horror games where it only depends on jump scares. It shows you things that would just scare you to see in real life. And you can see your protagonist character reacting to it. You get to see what went on in their life, and then little hints as to what your protagonist is really like. Oh my god, it's not Pokemon Go! Although I love Pokemon Go, I had Pokemon Black since ever, and oh my gosh. I've been Pokemon Trash my whole life, but that game has brought a new level of Pokemon Trash within me. There are so many new Pokemon, and uh, I couldn't find much playthrough videos, so I found its trailer. Ah, uh, I love it so much. It's so Pokemon-esque. It's perfect. It brings 3D models into a 2D based thing where you have the 2D sprites with the 3D world. And though it may seem weird, it works very well for the game. 
The graphics are fantastic and it still keeps to the regular, like, old school Pokemon aesthetic. I couldn't ask for a better game for, from Pokemon. Now, I'm not a big uh, person on shooting games or things of that kind of type, but I make a good exception for Fallout. Fallout has a whole new kind of vibe of you're not killing people for fun or your own amusement. You are in this whole new world. You are in the wasteland. And I've fallen in love with Fallout 4 because I watched my sister play it because we got it for Christmas. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone so addicted to a game than me and my sister. We would team up and tell each other when to reload and all that. And it's, it's got a lot of fun lore around it and a bunch of cool stories and such for each individual place. Uh, if you want more info on that, I would recommend watching videos from the Nth Apple because, oh my god, he has the best theories on how people died and he like spells out all the lore for you that you'd miss if you weren't looking so carefully. Another YouTuber that I've found related to Fallout 4 is um, the Evil Viking 13 or Dave the Not So Evil Evil Viking. He has made the most amazing things I've seen built in a video game and I'm a kid who was addicted to The Sims and shoot, people build the White House in that. And I have never seen anyone build anything better in a game. Not even Bethesda's buildings are better than that. So I would highly recommend checking him out and all the settlements he've bu he's built. He puts so much time into it and I have tried to use anything I could on my Xbox to make it look as good and I cannot for the life of me. It's just so amazing to see what people can do with the game and they take it so far and amazing. It's just hard to not love the game after seeing what people do with it. But more than Fallout 4, I just love the whole Fallout kind of franchise. I love learning about the vaults. They are like scientific experiments to the extreme. I love reading about everyone and seeing what the projects were like, checking out some of the comics and probably my favorite vault is 77. I love it so much. It just brings a new level of just messed up in such a cool and creative way. I'm just so fascinated by it. I really look forward to what the Fallout series has ahead of it. So there were my video game recommendations. I hope you enjoyed and I will credit all the videos and songs that I have used in here because I am very lazy and don't know how to record my own gaming. So, I hope you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and check out everyone else's videos to see their recommendations. I'll see you next week. What's up? It's Danny here with Recommendations Week, and what I'm gonna write that ba 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 bum bum These recommendations are no order of favoritism of- and just kind of what I kind of thought about first. I said kind of so many times, Jesus. Hey, it's Danny from The Heart of Five, and this week is Animation Week. Not Animation Week, I'm wrong. I'm tired. My doy freaking got in though!